Hey guys, welcome back to The Drop. I'm to hear more. And I'm Meg Scoop. And yesterday, Zendaya got racially profiled yet again. Uh. Really? You're so dramatic. Zendaya went to Yvonne's grocery store yesterday and she tried to buy $400 in gift cards, but the clerk was a little mad. The lady that was helping us, I don't think she was a huge fan of our skin tone. Not at all. Not at all. She was rude. Extremely. So Zendaya said that the clerk was very upset and tossed the wallet back at her as if she could not afford the purchase that she was trying to make. Clutch That's my pearls, what? Zendaya can't afford $400? What? She's a producer and an actor on Disney. Disney! In fact, I recall her not trying to help us at all, saying that we couldn't buy the gift cards. Exactly. And then throwing my wallet. Throw your wallet! The Casey Undercover and Shake It Up star said, it's only $400, but then I was just kind of like, but that's, I need that, that's a lot of money. I can't just drop $400 on no gift cards for none of my friends. Right. So, kudos to you and the fact that it was only $400. Well, it was $400. $400? So why do you think the clerk didn't want to give her $400 in gift cards? The low key, my homeboy was like right across from her. Really? He said he saw the whole thing. He said that Zendaya was trying to buy $401 gift cards. And the clerk was like, I ain't got time for your bullshit. I'm five minutes from break and I'm not gonna spend that next five minutes <laughs> swiping 400 gift cards for $1. So, what, so Zendaya just wanted a bunch of $1 gift cards really did. Yeah, it was supposed to be like some gag or something. She was gonna give it up to like at like her next birthday party. I don't know, you know, I don't I don't know what these Hollywood stars be doing. Can't make this up. I just can't make this up. Not at all. You know? Mad disrespect. This is what we this is what we deal with. So Zendaya has been in the middle of a lot of racist incidences. If mm. you remember on E Fashion Police, Juliana Rancic said mm. that she looked like she smelled like patchouli oil and weed because she had locks on. Like I feel like she she smells like patchouli oil. <laughs> <laughs> or weed. That's crazy. And then again with her PR person, her PR person told her to just be happy with the way she looks with her hair and makeup because this magazine cover hasn't had a black girl on it in years. So of course Zendaya fired her. Absolutely, as she should have. Right. And that wasn't it. She also got a lot of flack from the internet when she got casted as the new Mary Jane yep. in the new Spider-Man movie Homecoming because mm -hmm. she was traditionally a white girl with red hair. Did we forget that The Great Wall is coming out with Matt Damon? I was born into battle. I fought for greed and gods. So in the midst of all of this going on in China, Matt back Damon just, just happened to be over there in China and he's going to be the same. Matt, get your ass back over here in the United States. Okay, get get back over here and finish out the Born Identity series so we can close that goddamn chapter, please. Can't make this shit up. I just can't make this shit up. All right, squad, so we want to hear from you. Do you think the clerk was actually being racist or do you think Zendaya was actually overreacting? Put it in the comments below. Let us know. And you know what time it is. It's, it's the, the comment, comment of, of the, the day. Hey. And it comes from yesterday's video about Beyonce's birthday party. Jalen Richardson said, P. Diddy looks like a 70s shady ass landlord. Hey, young blood, I need them presidents on the first. That's very true. <laughs> he did look like that. We see you, fam. <laughs> Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to All Deaf Digital on Meg Scoop. And up to hear more. We'll see you tomorrow on the drive. Nah. Dist. That's what that is. It says dist. Like Disney. But if you have to explain it.